What is up guys, Two Hang Gaming here and welcome to another 7 days to die guide. In this video, I'm gonna show you the whole process of hunting animals and cooking them for food. Animals in 7 days to die are the best source of meat, hide, fat and bones. Some of the best food recipes can't be made without good old meat. And the hide you get is required for making a forge. So without further ado, let's start, shall we? Okay. First off, you're gonna need some tools. And by tools, I mean weapons. You're gonna need a stone axe. But if you happen to find a corpse like this one, just some random zombie remains, you can use your stone axe to chop it. This way, you will get a large bone. With that large bone, you can make a bone shift. As the description says, it's useful for gutting animals. So make one right away. So the next thing is a must, you're gonna need some kind of a weapon. A good old bone and arrow should do the trick. If you happen to have a crossbow, that's even better. Crossbow is much stronger than bow. And as I said, the next thing you're gonna need is some kind of a shiv. A bone shiv will do just fine. If you manage to find a hunting knife before this, it's even better. Hunting knife is one of the best gutting tools in the game. But we're not gonna use it this time. Okay, you got your tools and you're ready to hunt some animals. First off, animals are randomly generated, so you're gonna have to roam around and look for some prey. Oh look, I already found one. This is a stag. When you find an animal like this one, make sure to crouch as soon as you see it. While crouching, your first attack is gonna deal a bonus damage. That way, you can even kill an animal with one shot. Okay. You got your mark, you are ready to shoot. Draw your bow and try to hit it in its head. See that? That's an insta kill. Headshots deal even more damage. Even if you don't kill it, animals bleed like the player do. So you're just gonna have to follow your prey and wait for it to bleed out. Okay, so your prey is dead. Come close to the body and take out your shiv and start hacking. See that? Meat emits smell. So take a quick look around you to see if there's any zombies. You have to be careful. Zombies can sneak up on you anytime. The last hit on the animal will turn it into a gore block. And it looks something like this. Just a bunch of leftovers. You can hack that too. Hacking the remains will get you some bones, so you can make another shiv. Oh, it's a bear. If you happen to find a bear, be cautious. Bears are deadly in this game. Don't even think about melee combat. If you try face to face with it, you're gonna lose badly. Your bow is your best friend. But of course, you can always take out your automatic weapon and spray it with bullets. But we are not gonna do that, okay? See this, Bear's AI is stupid as that rock right there. You're gonna have to find some kind of an elevated spot and shoot it from there. And that rock will do perfectly. Well, the first step is taking his attention. Shoot an arrow at him. He will follow you. Quickly run and find a rock and climb on it. Like this. I'm telling you, bears are dumb as the rock itself. Okay, you're gonna have to be fast here. First off, crouch. For some reason, you remain undetected while the bear is trying to kill you. And look at this. He already stopped. Anyway, perfect for us. Draw your bow and aim at his head. This way, you will always deal bonus damage. Just waste some arrows on him. Okay, we killed the bear. I shot like 30 arrows at him. <laughs> 69. So that's it. This is 
how you kill a bear. Like the stag, use your bone shiv on its corpse. And like the stag, the last hit turn its body into a pile of bones. Always hack this last piece. Don't miss on anything. If you happen to find a pig in the wilds, this is perfect. The pigs are the easiest to catch. You don't even need bones and arrow. Just take out your club and chase him down. Pigs are even dumber than bears. And they're slower. Okay, so you're back at your base and you are ready to cook your hard earned meat. First of all, don't use your coal as a fuel. Use your wood instead. Believe me, you're gonna need your coal for the gunpowder later on. Okay, so take a look at your right upper corner. These are the tools for making food. This is a cooking pod and this is a cooking grill. Cooking grill gives better food recipes. Both of them can be made in a forge. When you craft them, place them in the right spot. Okay, so now some options turn up. Look at this, grilled meat. Like the description says, it's nutritious, filling, and will boost your wellness. So if you're starting out, I would recommend you to make some grilled meat. Okay, so that's it. These are the basics of hunting and cooking food. That is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If this video helped you in any way, I would appreciate if you leave a like. And you can subscribe for more 7 days to die guides. Like this one. Anyway, this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.